Texas State faces the University of South Alabama, the Jaguars, who are one and four. Texas State sets it one and one in the conference, two and three overall. Can the changes that they're implementing bring a difference in this game this week? And can the Bobcats actually wake up with the talent that they have? This is a big week for them, as in recruiting, a number of prospects are on campus and looking for a good time. You usually only have a good time when the team you're visiting is winning. Let's go to the game and see if it happens. South Alabama is vastly improved over the years, but the Bobcats should be better than them. A win here would definitely help. South Alabama is 71st in defensive uh, yardage, 102nd in pass, so they're weak to the pass, but they look pretty strong against the rush. Defensively, we look really good. 11th in pass yards and 21st in, or in overall yards, 21st in pass and 12th in rush. But our record does not show that because the teams that we've played have hit us on every weakness that we have. So we got to put up or shut up this game. We have a four-star athlete who wants us to rush for over 100 yards. That's a possibility. Uh, two sacks with the linebacker. Maybe that actually have four swatted passes and two interceptions for the free safety. You know, for a three-star, he's asking for a bit much there. Oh, it's a rain game. Oh, man. A rain game against South Alabama here at home in Bobcat Stadium. Coach Conquest got the rain gear on. He looks like he's ready to go. Hopefully the band can keep us in, in good faith. Average passing yards allowed, 187. I mean, we got some good. We, we do four sacks, they do three. But the interceptions is pretty nasty. We'll see if the Bobcats can put it all together today. Intensive two-a-days. Trying to get them back on track. Texas State is really going to have to show up and show what they're made of if they want to turn this season to anything and everything that it can be. We sound a little dramatic, but it is a dramatic moment as the school and the team really need to figure it out without Tom Sutton here to push them down the field. It's these players now, and these players have to make plays. Tess Wilson kicks this one deep down the middle. It's a short kick. He doesn't really have the leg, and they're going to come run out here. Twenty-seven yard return, and here we go a defensive stand for the Bobcats. Let's play the game. They throw it out of bounds. Good coverage there by the Bobcats. Second and ten here. And they're going to get to the quarterback, and Saunders, or Sanders, goes down. Big sack there. Paul Franklin got in there, made the play. Looks like the guard couldn't keep up with him. Third and 15 here in the pouring rain. They're going to go deep. And he beats Fritz on the play. 35 yards, and the Jaguars get a first down. South Alabama goes hurry up. Five yard pass there, second and five now. Oh, and they're gonna come and, oh, they're not gonna get him. And they're finally gonna drag him down. He's gonna get one yard. The elusiveness, that's either Vaseline on his jersey or just a lot of rain. Third and four here. And they're gonna pull him down and that's gonna force a fourth down. Jermaine Hughes there on the tackle. Pretty long field goal here. Fourth and three. Oh, we almost jumped. And the kick goes wide right. It tried to curve back in, but it does not make it. And here will come the Texas State offense out on the field. 525 left in the first. Hand off. And Jones will get around the edge. He'll only get four. He was clipped down. Third and six here. And a throw in Roberson. Roberson gets it. Roberson breaks the tackle. Roberson goes downfield. And Roberson goes out around the 35-yard line. 25 yards for Roberson. And that moves the chains. Lots of time for Horn. He'll take the hit, but the play developed. 
But Roberson outruns his coverage, breaks the tackle, and he's downfield for a big game. We were Roberson Burnett over there, Jones in the backfield. It's a rush, good block there. He needs a block on the outside. Jones gets the block. Jones tripped up. He'll be brought down near the 20. That's a 15 yard rush for Donnell Jones. First and 10. Ball play. Jones up the gut. Jones will bust through one person. 13 more yards for Yarnell Jones, and that makes it first and goal. First and goal here. It's a handoff. Jones, Jones. Look at Jones. He, he held back and he stopped to pick up five. He had the reverse this course as the blocking held. He found the hole. Three tight end package out there right now. Handoff. And Jones is going to get in there, and that is a four-yard touchdown run, and the Bobcats take the lead here in the first quarter. Darnell Jones celebrating. He's dipped in there. Good run there. Coach Conquest, very excited about the run game here in the rain. We'll see how long it keeps up. 7-0 Bobcats. Tez Wilson launches this one. That will make the end zone. They'll pro run this out, and they do. Comes Hayden, and Hayden took down at the 20. Here comes the Bobcat defense. Steve Humphrey leads them out on the field. Let's run up the gut. Carter will pull him down, but he'll get the first down. Nine yards on that play. So both sides churning it in the rain. Humphrey will meet him in the backfield. Oh, he gets away from Humphrey. He's still going. And finally, they'll pull him down near midfield. 16 yards, Cody Parks. Oh, God, Lord. And another play. And finally, Cameron will knock him out of bounds. 14-yard gain. Two Bobcats in the area, and they didn't come down with the pick. Another wide open receiver. And they'll get down first and goal. So South Alabama coming right back. The defense taking one to the teeth right now. And it's a quarterback keeper and he'll get, oh he fumbles it. JD Carter falls on it in the in the end zone and Texas State is forced an inter or a turnover here. He tried to hurdle and he gets hit in the air by JD Carter and he fumbles it. And it looked like JD, I cannot tell now. Quarterback runs in. That's Steve Humphrey coming around. He jumps. Oh, it's somebody else coming over. Who is this? 32. Troy Cameron, the sophomore out of Texas, puts the hit on him. I thought that was Carter. Excuse me. And then the fumble's on the ground, and I think that it's Carter. Yeah, J.D. Carter, who jumps on it right before the South Alabama player. Good defensive stand by the Bobcats. That brings up first and 10 here, 226. Oh, that one's tipped. Third and nine. Horn throws that one, almost picked off. Tyson Stevens comes out. Oh, he shanked that one. Short punt there. South Alabama is going to have decent field position. Again, six here. Short throw. Set. Oh, it's another fumble. Scales put the hit on him. Troy Cameron again. Part of the play. Big hit there by the outside linebacker. Scales comes up, boom, and then Troy Cameron, the sophomore, again picking up a fumble after causing one earlier, having a good game today. First and 10, big handoff. Horn puts that one out there, Burnett makes the catch. Burnett is down and across midfield, 20 yards. Nice throw, Horn had time to deliver there, puts it out of reach of the defenders. And his second 
completed pass today is a decent one. Second and nine here, 56 seconds left in the first half. Stewart goes in, in the first quarter. Stewart goes in motion. Horn delivers that one. Lane makes the catch. Lane is down at the 25, 16 more yards. First and 10 here. Hand off up the gut. Jones, Jones goes through the middle. Jones, Jones drops his hit and he'll get 15 yards. And the armor piercing round known as Darnell Jones goes through the middle. We're gonna snap it here before the half. Ball's up there. Jones is in the end zone for the second time today, and Texas State increases their lead on the Jaguars 13 to nothing as time expires in the first quarter. I don't think South Alabama thought that they would snap it, but as Jones' smile tells you, they did. Wilson comes out, puts the extra point through in the rain, and it's 14-0 here in San Marcos. The thoughties are excited on the sideline. At the end of the first quarter, Texas State in control of this game, 14-0. Defense playing like their butts on fire. Wilson pulls that one to the left. Mark's coming down. He's ran out of bounds at the 20-something. Here comes the Bobcat defense back on the field. It makes you wonder if the rain is having an effect on the game. Oh, Hughes got through there, but not enough. Oh, and he heard J.D. Carter coming behind him, and he'll drop the pass. Second and ten here. On screen. Oh, but they're back there and they're going to sack him for a big loss of 13 yards. And is that Steve Humphrey? It's Steve Humphrey. Three tackles, a tackle for a loss, and a sack today. And he shows up. Big pop on the quarterback. Third and 23. Oh, and they got to him. Fritz is back there. Fritz. <gasps> Fritz with the interception. Oh, my God. Fritz. Fritz cuts midfield. Fritz, Fritz is still open. Fritz is gonna go back for the pick six. Brandon Fritz, the freshman out of Channel View, Texas. Oh my God. Brandon Fritz, the pick six. And the extra point is good and it is 21 nothing. Oh my God, I'm so happy for him. Wilson. Kicks this one deep. It's going to be on the edge of the end zone again. Skinner will bring this out. And they're brought down. I thought he was brought down, but I guess not. They, they had to tell him twice. First to 10 here. I will say that the Texas State defense is a little winded. Oh, Hughes. He's trying to get through there. Carter. Oh, Carter missed a hit. And he'll have to pop him out of bounds. Good throw there. 26 yards. Hughes will get there, and it's another fumble, and Fields falls on this one. Texas State has forced four turnovers here. Jermaine Hughes forces the fumble, and it looked like Edwards fell on it. And the Bobcats are going to get it back. 540 left. Lane goes in motion. It's a handoff. Jones bounces back. He'll get five. Take it five, Stewart goes in motion. Horn puts that one out there. Wade Lane will make the catch 13 yards. 39 here, Horn in the shotgun. And Robertson will not pull that down and that's gonna force a fourth down decision. Surprisingly enough, Stevens comes out for the punt. He will put this one at like the 16, 17 possibly. But we'll see what the Bobcats are gonna do here. Defense played soundly all day. Uh-oh. Quarterback will keep it on the option. He'll get 13 yards. Approaching four minutes left. 
Um, um, yeah, number 51, I think, is way off. Ball start, offense. I hope it's 51. Still first down. Get some of these other guys in the field. Let's, let's bring the 425 out here. Oh, big stop there. Joey Richard? Is that who that was? No, Paul Franklin, excuse me. I could I thought it was 55, it was 35. Paul Franklin. Second and 18. They're coming through. Oh green! Oh, it popped off his helmet twice and he made the catch. Third and nine. Crash was coming in the right side. And he'll drop the ball. That was J.D. Carter again laying the wood, and that's going to force fourth down. 319 left. Here's the punt. Kenry back to receive. Oh, Kenry bobbles it in rain, and they'll do the smart thing and just jump on it. Randy Booth, the sophomore. I asked earlier if the rain was affecting the game. The answer is yes. Both sides. Here's a handoff. Oh, big run. Jones. Jones has got a lot of daylight. Jones is trying to go down the field. Jones, he had one man to beat, and he's brought down there the 25. Big play there. That is definitely going to put Darnell Jones over the century mark for the day, and we're not even the halftime. He had a big window there, and he just ran out of steam going down the field, and he'd be pulled down by the safety. They got seven. Horn changes the play at the line. Horn goes, Burnett's going to catch that, and it's down near the five-yard line. First and goal. Great play change up there by Horn. First and goal here. And that one's going to be snagged by the linebacker. Oh, my Lord. Horn threw it, but what a jump. That looked like Madden linebacker interception there. Just uh, snagged that one right out of the air. So South Alabama calls a timeout there. Second and one here. Big play. Oh, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. There's J.D. Carter again, and it's a loss of two. They're clock wasting, I see that. Looks like they're gonna go for the run here. And they'll get the first down, so. Trips to the right. Oh my God, Fritz. Booth will pull him down and they won't get the first down. Let's call a timeout. Coach Conquest wants to go for blood here before halftime. Like they're sending everybody. Oh man. We went, but we didn't get through. Kennery is back there. Kennery will get this. Kennery brought down. It's going to be near midfield, so they're going to have to move the chains a little bit. They've got two timeouts at 55 seconds. I get a 10 here. Oh! Jones caught that off the deflection. Man, their linebackers getting grabby hands here. Thrown up. Bounced off the linebacker, and Jones is like, I'll take that. Texas State comes out here. Maybe looking to draw him off sides. Nope, they're going to fake it. The throw is there. Stewart makes the catch. It's a first down, and they're going to call a timeout. They're well in field goal range now. We'll see what Conquest has up his sleeve. Third and 10 here. Rain still pouring down. Oh, big play up the middle, Jones! He'll not get the first down, but it moves him forward closer for the field goal. And I think that's what they're going to use the timeout for. Thirty-four yard field goal. And he'll put it through, and it's going to be 24 nothing as we head to halftime. Bobcats played a solid, solid half of football. Rough day for Horn. The rain not making it easy on him. Defense of South Alabama filling down. Start of the second quarter here, or the second half. Kennery will get this one deep. He's going to bring it out. 
He'll drop his head and he'll get 32 yards on the return. The Texas State a chance here to go up even larger. Warren changing something at the line. Jones, Jones going out on the side. Jones trying to get to the edge. There's a flag on the play. Maybe a face mask. That's what Jones is calling for. And it is, so give him 15 more. Jones having a wonderful day today. Lane will go in motion there. Jones bounces off. Oh, Jones shoelace tackle there. He'll still get six in the play. 39. Born. Wade Lane. Wade Lane will get the first down. 17 yards. Justin Horn trying to make it work here in the rain today as the ball is going all over out there. It worked out that time. First and 10. Draw play. Jones, he'll fight, and there's a flag. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And another face mask, so maybe some Automatic anger issues. Down. That gives Texas State the first down and moves them closer to the red zone. Oh, and that one just went straight down into the ground. Had to slip out of his hands. That'll make it fourth and seven. Wilson comes out, and he'll squeak that one through 27 to nothing here in the third. not really his thing, but it's working so far. This one's going to be down, land near the two, return imminent. Big hit there, my God. And here comes the Bobcat defense back out. Three sacks today, an interception, which is a rarity. 4.55, remaining in the third quarter. That's caught beautifully, and they've got out of bounds with the first down. 4.49 now. Second and five. Wide open out there. And he'll get hit out of bounds by Saunders, it looked like. 11 yards, though. Run play. And J.D. Carter is there to tackle him for a loss in the backfield. Third and six. Oh, my God. And they run a screen play. And they'll get the first down. A beautiful call there with the blitz coming. We're trying to get to, oh, and they leave him open, and he's going to skedaddle in, and that's a 33-yard touchdown pass. And it looked like they were out there, and they slipped a little bit, trying to turn to go after him. And Booth couldn't get to him there. And it's now 27-7, South Alabama on the board. The shutout ends here in the third. Henry back to receive here. Oh, Kennery's got some blocks. Kennery, Kennery's got some space. Kennery, oh, he's got one guy to beat. Kennery down the sideline, and Kennery's going to take it in. The 100-yard return, Brad Kennery, my lord. The sophomore out of Waxahachie, Texas, takes it down the left sideline and says, that's okay, we'll let you have seven. We'll take seven right back. Wilson puts it through 34 7. Audi's all excited. I guess the only downside to this is that the defense did not get the rest a lot. Kick. They'll bring him down. 23 yard return on the kickoff. Kicker falling down there weirdly. Play a different defense this time just to. Uh, Give some of those other guys on the 335 a rest. And Fields is going to wrangle him down, and that's another Fields sack. That'll make it second and one. Tried to go on the outside edge, but the containment was there. Second and 16. Up the middle. And Humphrey lays the big hit on him. Third and nine here. Nice catch. Booth 
will not take him down. Looks like a couple others. JD Carter and maybe Saunders over there. That makes it first and ten. Oh, it's an injury on the wide receiver. He's down. Oh, and Green will wrap him up. A three-yard loss there. Brian Green, the junior out of Lufkin, Texas, making the big play in the open field. He's a lot smaller than that running back, too. Picking the linebackers over. Oh, and Saunders was coming, and he'll drop the pass. He heard the footsteps. Humphrey congratulating the youngin. Third and 13 here. They're going to do the screen again. And he's going to get the first down. Oh, the screen play. The bane of our existence there. And Franklin, oh, he couldn't get him, but Randy Booth comes up and makes the sack. Nice job by the sophomore safety. Come up there. The containment was there, but he couldn't hold on to him in the rain. That would force a third and long. So the wide receiver for South Alabama is out with an abdominal screen. Oh, another screen. Carter. Carter tripped him up and he'll save the first down. JD Carter really playing balls out today. First and 10 here, Burnett, Roberson, Stewart out there. Lane goes in motion. Jones try, oh, Jones bounced off one dude and he'll get six yards. It looked like it's gonna be a loss there. I think they'll let the quarter run out. So we go to the fourth quarter, bearing anything crazy happen. Texas State is on the way to their second conference win. They're leading now 34 to seven over South Alabama Jaguars. Horn changing up something on the play. Oh, he throws the lob and it's not down. Tried to do the slant and go. Hunt goes deep. Oh, he's going to return it, and Greco pushes him out of bounds. No return. Great coverage on that. 6.46 left in this game here. South Alabama playing for some pride. Another screen play. Cameron, Troy Cameron again making the play. Two-yard gain. I'm really impressed how this 3-3-5 has worked today. It took one of my better players off the field, but... And Franklin's going to pull him down, and there's another sack on the day. Paul Franklin, his second sack, third tackle overall. Third and nine here, six to go in the game. Oh, and they dropped the screen pass, and that's probably going to force a punt. Second and ten here. Run play. Jones going through. Jones will get eight. That makes it third and two. Third and two here. Three goes in motion. And Jones will spin through and get the first down. Second and four. Stewart makes the catch. Stewart, Stewart trying to break through. Stewart gets upfield and down near the 30. First of 10 here, 429 left. And Lane, what a pass by Horn there, fitting that in there. Second of three here. Oh, it's a handoff. Jones trying to go around edge. Jones breaks the tackle. Jones pushed out of bounds near the 15. He's up to 180 yards today. First to 10. Horn delivers. Roberson makes the catch, and it's going to be second and one. Eight and one here. 
Horn hits Stewart. Stewart will get first down from forward momentum. First and goal now. They come out with some big boys here. Play action. He's looking. And he'll hit Lee. Dylan Lee catches the touchdown. And that's going to make it 40 to 7. What a throw by Horn. Did you see that? That was pinpoint accuracy there. Dylan Lee ran the route to perfection. Wilson will put it through 41 7. It's like Army pulled off another one. Army, the legit threat now in the Sun Belt Conference. They're 6 and 1. Six seconds left in this game. Jones runs up. He calls a play action. Jones throws it on the run, and the game's going to expire. He was trying to go end zone, but a little too much. But one good pass from him, and that game is over, and the Bobcats put on a show today. And I would say none other than Darnell Jones will be your player of the game, and there it is, 23 carries, 180 yards, two touchdowns rushing for the Bobcats. For the fans that stayed out here in the rain, they got a good game on their side of the ball. Final score here in San Marcos, Texas State 41, South Alabama 7. Let's take a look at the player stats. Brian Jones come out there for two throws, 209 rating, one for two, 38 yards, 50%. He got sacked once though. But that throw did look good. It was a little underthrown, but as a freshman, 83 overall, that's not bad. Jones, 101.1, 14 for 30. He got a couple of late throws in that touchdown. They really salvaged his uh, rating today. 179 yards here in the torrential downpour. He only averaged 12.7. His longest was 25. But again, the rain was really coming down. That's why they stuck to the ground attack. Darnell Jones, 23 attempts, 180 yards, the senior getting two touchdowns early, and he did not see the end zone after that. McCoy coming in, two rushes, 14 yards. Again, promising for him, probably taking over next year. Wade Lane, tied in, five receptions, 59 yards. Stewart, three for 39. Burnett, two for 37. Roberson, two for 34. And our man down here, Dylan Lee, the freshman, getting in from Oaks, North Dakota, getting a touchdown there late in the game. J.D. Carter, we called his name all day, the transfer sophomore from Arlington, Texas. Seven solo tackles, one for a loss, two for a loss, excuse me. Humphrey, Hughes, Cameron, and Booth all had five tackles apiece. Franklin and Fritz, four. Sacks today, Paul Franklin had two. Fields, Humphrey, Booth, Hughes, Green, excuse me, Hughes, uh, all coming in with one apiece. And then uh, finally, we broke the barrier as Brandon Fritz had the pick six, the freshman out of Channel View, Texas, 54 yards, taking it to the house, really blew the game open. Cortez Wilson, two field goals made as long as it was 34. He put five extra points through. All right, so I went ahead and went through the week. Uh, we're in a recruiting battle for some top commits. We lost a couple, it looks like. Uh, it looks like A.J. Green, <laughs> the linebacker, not the wide receiver, locked us out. We had a good visit with Todd Sanders. Uh, Jim Gibson, the free safety, I believe he was one of the visits, has committed to our team, so that feels a big hole we had. We got a punter ready to commit. Uh, I'm a little upset with Mike Mitchell there. Thought we could have had it better. Coach Conquest also leveled up, so I'm kind of excited what that could be. So let's go look at some of the stuff. So that was a big win for our conference. That actually puts us uh, behind Army. They've already played six conference games. So we need to be wary that... Army is probably, I don't know if they have any more conference games yet. One more. Two, three, four. Oh, my God, they still have four conference games? We're playing a 10 conference game season. Oh, my God. So a lot can happen. A lot can happen. We take on New Mexico State this week. They're third in our conference. So a win against them could really uh, be beneficial, especially if we play like we did against South Alabama. The only update they gave us on the news was, it's good to be home. Texas State players are happy to return home after a painful road loss. I guess because I went to the next week, we never even got to see the story. Our kids expected to win, and it showed in the South Alabama game. I didn't notice that our coach prestige went up to a B+. Here's our news story. Bobcats improved to 3-3. Three and three. The home crowd helps Texas State in their 41-7 Sunbelt win over South Alabama. That's what I was looking for. So the point we put into Coach Conquest is a kitchen sink. 
Um, I thought we were up here to insta commit, but you could have 20 ranks in this tree. So I'm pretty sure that's like, well, we got three, six, 12. We've only got 15. So we have to max out everything else, or at least I think all but one of these. If there's three a piece, you know, so we've got quite a bit of ways to go before we get up there. We'll have to be level 21 to get insta commits. Coach Conquest is still learning the game. With that said, though, that sets us up for week 10 of football action. We're going to take on another conference opponent. We're going to take on the New Mexico State Aggies. And hopefully we can knock out another win, get back into the over 500 column. I think our team is – I think that practice clicked. I think they're doing well. So I'm really excited to see what this next game is going to be all about. Hope you all enjoyed the episode. Smash that like button. Remember, the more likes, the faster the episodes come out. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. See you all next time, Bobcat Nation. Not everybody.